Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. This is Strength to Strength, and we welcome you here for a unique episode uh, where we're going to be talking about a new tool, online tool, uh, that's been developed over the last six months. Um, and it's called Church Index. And we're going to have that introduced here right shortly. Um, so, but first of all, the vision here at Strength to Strength, one of our visions is to, to inspire flourishing communities of faithful Jesus followers around the world um, and, and to inspire those churches and then also to help people find those churches. Uh, and so we have often have emails coming in here at Strength to Strength saying, we're here. Can you help us find a local community? And sadly, there's many places in the world where there's no kingdom community that we can recommend. Um, but there's places where there are churches and they're not online or we don't even know about them. Uh, and so um, we've been thinking and praying here behind the scenes here at Strength of Strength, along with other ministries like Anabaptist Perspectives, for an online resource that's more comprehensive that would include Anabaptist churches and similar ones, um, uh, kingdom churches, churches that that believe uh, and they're living out the historic faith. Uh, and so um, here about eight months ago, uh, Patrick Matthews uh, started a WhatsApp group and with some of us brothers said, hey, we really need to see this resource develop. There's there's just uh, there's a lot of churches uh, like like Chambersburg or other congregations who aren't online, uh, who aren't on these church finders. And so we need, we need a more comprehensive list. And so that kind of started a conversation and it wasn't long uh, that Darvin Martin uh, from Massachusetts was roped into it. Uh, and then out of that, you know, a number of brothers have been working behind the scenes, David, uh, in developing this, this resource um, called churchindex.org. Um, but why, why do we care about churches? Um, can't we just do online church? Uh, and the and the answer from us here at Strength to Strength is a resounding no. Um, there's a great quote here that I want to that I want to read uh, by uh, Stanley Harwas, and he says this: "The most creative social strategy we have to offer is the church. Here we show the world a manner of life the world can never achieve through social coercion or governmental action." We serve the world by showing it something that it is not, namely a place where God is forming a family out of strangers, end of quote. And so our prayer um, here at Strength to Strength, along with many other brothers, is to see faithful kingdom communities, starting with us and flowing out uh, into many other communities and an expansion of that where there's, we're not just staying in one place where we're looking across the world and saying, where is there no kingdom church? And you can use this church index for that um, to find those places where there's no, there's no kingdom witness. There's no kingdom community and begin to pray about what if I would go there and be part of a church plant uh, in that place. And so we're excited to be together here. So Darvin Martin is joining us from Massachusetts, part of Disciples Fellowship there. He's been working behind the scenes. Uh, David Miller is part of McKinney Mennonite out of Virginia. He's currently teaching school in, in um, Pennsylvania. Um, he's been helping with the, the initiative as well. And so, Darvin, I'm going to let you tell us more about this online tool, Church Index. Yes, well, thank you for hosting uh, this interview here, Bryant. Yeah, so the goal with Church Index is like you already said, we just wanna be able to connect people who are seeking for an Anabaptist church and, and like allow them to find it. We recognize that in the day and age that we live, many, many people are searching the internet, internet for, for their resources. And so we put up this website, it's called churchindex.org. And we have, a lot of churches listed there already. Most of those are in the, in North America, but we are working on a worldwide list of, uh, of churches uh, that can be used as a resource <clears throat> for seekers. So I'll just go ahead and share my screen and show you briefly how this looks and, and how it works. Uh, what we have here is churchindex.org, and you can just type that in 
And first thing you'll see is the map with uh, a list of churches. Now to search a given area, there's a simple search bar where you can type in an area. Let's say we're searching around Dayton, Ohio, for example, and we return 17 results. And that is within a 50 mile radius. And one, uh, you can change what radius you're searching within. There are plenty of areas that still need a church and you might not find one within a 50 mile radius at times. And so you can just increase the radius to, to find a, a larger, uh, to search a larger region. Another example might be, uh, let's say Tacoma, Washington. Uh, there, we only have three churches presently uh, within a hundred mile radius of Tacoma. So once, once the search is made, uh, you can just select a church and we'll zoom into that. And here we have an overview of contact information. Now the contact information is a very primary part of this tool and that those things consist of the address. So the, the, the location of the church, a phone number, and oftentimes a contact person. Uh, beyond the address and phone number, there's also uh, a website, if a church has a website that will be listed, sometimes a church will list an email address to get in touch with them as well. Many churches increasingly have live stream information where you can call into the services and get to know them a little bit that way. Uh, the, that kind of information will be displayed as well. Or if a church even has a media channel uh, for example, YouTube is a very popular one. If a church has a YouTube channel, that would be listed as well. So anything in, in relation to those types of information about the church, uh, that's what we focus on, on obtaining that kind of information and, and displaying that to the public. Now, of course, it does take a bit of work to gather all that information together. So we do open it up for, for input from the public and from uh, churches specifically. We're interested in, in knowing where the information comes from that, that gets brought in. But if there's churches missing in the, on the map or if there are incorrect pieces of information or, or missing pieces of information, the public is able to suggest those edits. And just to be clear, we don't necessarily uh, publish the edit, but un unless it's unless it's vetted, you know, we want to make sure that we're not being spammed or something like that. But but we do take care to make sure that the information is is viable, and then we will post that as well. So it does help us to have a good uh, up as as up to date of information as possible in that way. There is one other thing that our listeners should know about, and that is that this tool that we call Church Index, this church listing can actually be embedded on other websites. And so this is primarily useful for ministries like yourself with strength to strength. And in fact, I'll just show that one example where Strength to Strength has this posted on their website. And this listing will be useful because people coming to these ministries, like Brian already shared, often are looking for a church. And so to have a church finder on your own website as a ministry or even as a church occasionally uh, would be will be a very helpful uh, feature that is already being used among, and, and, and this is already being used among uh, a handful of different websites, even from the start. I'll just stop sharing my screen there. Darvin, one thing you mentioned was that this is Anabaptist or similar churches. And I think we're well aware that there would be Anabaptist or people that go under that name that are we might not associate with 
um, is there a criteria or something that um, you go through to decide who would be listed on this? Yes, yeah, so there is a panel of people involved here with with Church Index who go through the new churches that are suggested. <clears throat> but in relation to the criteria, you can actually find that on our website. If you go to the Learn More page, uh, right in the top menu, and under Add a New Church, there is a link where you can click to learn more about the churches that are included on this map. <clears throat> and on that page, there is, uh, you know, the, the parameters of which churches we're including are listed there. So we, we recommend that you read that and become familiar with those uh, because we want to be careful to include those who are within that criteria set and also to not be showing those who are with outside of that. That's great. That's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Also, Darvin, um, you know, with Strength to Strength, we have people listening all around the world who are part of, uh, of, of, of kingdom churches. They might not call themselves Anabaptists, but um, would, you know, would definitely fit your criteria for inclusion that you have there for churches that are on here. Um, how do they... Um, go about um, reaching out to you and and even applying to be put, to be added to this. Could you, and you might want to just pop up up your up. Your, I know there's a way to do that, so maybe might, might be helpful just to pop up your screen there and and show how that how that's done because I, I believe it's a really valuable tool and it's sure. something that you're very interested in because you want to see you want to see this this database grown uh, and we want to see it global uh, and it's yeah yeah. Let me go ahead and share that here uh, if you are wanting to have a church added that's presently not on the list, uh, you can simply go to this Learn More page. And the first uh, paragraph here is Add a New Church. Click here to learn more. And here is actually the page that I was referring to with respect to the criteria for inclusion. And after, uh, you know, if, if you feel like you're within that criteria, uh, you can go ahead and click on the button at the bottom that's called Suggest a New Church. And of course, this is protected against robots, so you need to prove that you're a human. And then click on Suggest a New Church. Describe your relationship to your to the church. Um, like I said, we, we vet all these um, suggestions that are coming in. We want to be careful that this is legitimate information. And so we we require that you provide your name and email and the relationship to your, to this church. And then you can go ahead and just fill out all the church information, the demographics about the church and, and uh, submit it that way. Good, good question. Thanks for asking that. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, is there any other aspects, Darvin, that you want to share here specific to the website? I know we're going to have David talk a little bit about, um, some of the financial needs that are that have been incurred with this site, um, with this project. Uh, but yeah, is there any other parts to this site? Or or Sam, do you have any more 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 questions to to fire at them? No, I don't believe I do at this point. Yeah, well, I think that uh, covers the basics of it, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, David could go ahead and uh, share how people can get in touch with us. Yeah, well, maybe before David actually shares that, um, one of the one of the as as I've watched you all work at this, I know you put, I don't know, uh, is it is it a hundred hours, uh, man hours, uh, hundreds maybe? I'm I'm not sure. There's been a ton of work that has went into developing this database and going. And David is currently going through the through um, the churches and making sure that you know everything's spelled correctly and information's right. Um, so there's a, a, a ton of work going on, and um, there's a, definitely a, a you know for our listeners those who would this would capture your interest. There's a financial need here um, to 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 give the, the, these brothers some support for their work. Uh, but of course, and there's ongoing development and um, vision actually for uh, this particular uh, initiative. And so, 
Um, if you're interested in supporting this or, or helping out with a one-time donation or ongoing, um, David has some information for you on that. So go ahead, David. I think you, is your yeah. is your title treasurer treasurer for the, for this project? I think it's like secretary or something like that. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you can donate via credit card online at churchindex.org forward slash contribute, I believe. And you can also send a check to church index um, at um, 1017 Hauserville Road, State College, Pennsylvania, 16801 is the address to send it to. And yeah, we would take care of it from there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you, David. Uh, and I, I know that you've been, um, some of your work has included, um, is it, is it pretty much just working through the church listings and make sure that information is correct or exactly what, what has been your, your role with, with the project outside of secretary? That's pretty much it. Just making sure the churches are the pin on the map is in the right place or whatever, making sure, sure. church information is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, brothers, thank you so much for for coming on here and talking about this. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, with with strength to strength, we've had many people reaching out to us looking for communities, and that's one of our 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 as part of our mission is to find help people uh, find local kingdom communities, um, and so uh, we were excited to see this church index. Um, come about and and get get rolling so thank you for joining us on here and again uh, you can go to their website at churchindex.org um, or you can go to strength to strength and um, go to the partner page and there we have the the link where you can seek look look up churches in your area so thank you for joining us uh, darvin and david and also thank you for coming on as well sam and have a have a great day bless thank us thank you for hosting us yep you're welcome as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend.